brand new episode of FTO Podcast. I know I was supposed to give you two episodes last week, but that didn't happen. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. I got busy, got truly preoccupied, and things just got the better of me. And uh, again, I apologize. But we're back with a brand new episode. Let me say before we go any further, there will not be any comics to read this week. For those of you who don't like that segment of the show, congratulations, you don't get it. For those of you who do like it, I do apologize. It's been a busy week. Uh, I had a, a, a classes situation go on at my kid's school or where it's about uh, lapse payments and taking away uh, certain end of the year festivities for my kids. Like it's just, it's a true extortion ring of like my kids joy. And it, it got to me. So sorry about like all the stuff, but like it, it, it waned on me. I've been trying to talk more about my feelings. Like I got a podcast, I got a social media platform. I got friends. I should probably talk about like my, my problems more often and not feel so ashamed of all things that happened to me simply because like I may or may not be poor or because I don't have like, like the finances to pay for certain things that I should probably be paying for. So all that being said, we got a fun show for you this week. Got a lot of interesting things going on. A lot of different movies, TV shows, uh, finals on everything. It's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of stuff happened this week. First and foremost, what happened this week is Loki season two and Echo will be dropping this year, October sixth for Loki season two and Echo will drop November 29th. So that's that's happening. Disney Plus can't wait. Next up. Vin Diesel confirms that Fast X will now be a three-part finale. So we got the Fast X movie that's already out. People are already talking about it. A lot of interesting things about that film so far. But you got two more parts coming out fairly soon, apparently. So it's ending. But you got some more uh, of the same continuation of the same like ending going on, which uh, if if... If you know anything about the Fast X or the Fast X franchise, they know how to milk out a situation. So I'm really interested to see how it goes. <clears throat> uh, next up, Mortal Kombat 1 trailer has dropped. If you haven't seen this trailer, get on it. Like, seriously, I don't tell people to watch trailers very often, but I watched this one. Whoo! This game looks incredible. Like, full on. Like, a full, incredible, like, nonstop Elseworld story. So, like, you know... The original story of Mortal Kombat has been like Redux, well, not rebooted, Redux. Like so, they restart like the whole story, new rivalries, new powers, some of the same old characters, but in different positions. And yeah, here for that. Look really cool. I don't say check it out. Uh, the trailer, the game comes out September nineteenth of this year. Next up, uh, Grant Gustin, Star of the Flash, packs up the Flash. Because they show something. Yeah. So if you've been following The Flash you on CW, it's ending. And from my understanding, the CW is also going away from superheroes. So the superhero like ideology, that is going on the wayside. Like they're not they're not following that that same trajectory for like, you know, the CW anymore. And the Winchesters was canceled, Kung Fu was canceled. I think the, the Texas Ranger show was also canceled. Like, CW has been canceling a lot of shows. So, I don't know what's going to happen in the future with the CW. But, like, there's a lot of stuff that's happening there that's going to be changing around for a lot of different folks. Uh, next up, the first four Indiana Jones film have arrived or will arrive to Disney Plus May 31st. So, if you've been itching for some Indiana Jones, congratulations. You now got it. There's a new movie coming out. So that's part of the reason why it's happening. But yeah, Indiana Jones, May, May 31st on Disney+. Plus. Next up, Disney Plus animated series Win or Lose will release in December. Now, this is my first time hearing about this, this Win or Lose. Um, I'm trying, it, it reminds me of like the, the Mitchells vs. the Robots animation, but it's Disney. But uh, it looks like a baseball-ish kind of animation. Supposed to be, I'm sure to be teaching kids about like how winning and losing, playing a game or just a game. Disney's been on it. Like I, I hate to say it, but this Disney's been on. It. Like and like I know I'm drinking Kool Aid, man. Uh, if you listen to like the first couple episodes of, of me talking about Disney, it was not nice things. But they are 
changing things around. They are being more aware. They're going to war with Florida. It's a lot of stuff going on with Disney right now. Like, it's just it's hard like to pinpoint just one thing like they're improving on, but they are improving a lot. And Bob Iger's back. I don't cape for billionaires and millionaires, but like this dude knows how to get like a large majority to watch what he's putting out there, and like yeah, I gotta I gotta respect that. <clears throat> Only in the sense that like he's he's doing it by being like the most diverse company out there right now, like more so than like than than Netflix. More so than they even say like BET, like he's putting like, like diversity on the forefront. You got more superheroes like of color than anywhere else you see out there, and like Iger's doing that, which is very. <sighs> I will always be skeptical of Disney. I won't ever drop that, but like this is really interesting news. So yeah, win or lose, uh, gonna be coming out in December. Only on Disney series, so it'll be on Disney. Next up, you got uh, Chiwito in June four. Cass and Venom, like you may know him from uh, Serenity, the Firefly movie, or you may know about him from uh, The Day Earth Was Still. I think that's the name of it. The new revamp version, is it there? Or like the, the man who, who fell, to, fell from fell to Earth? I forget like the redemption of it. Uh, he was also 12 Years a Slave. That may be like something for a lot of you. I don't like talking about that movie. But yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be in Venom, the Venom 3. I haven't seen the second one. I mean, like, you know, I'm all for supporting his work because like, he's a very skilled actor. He was in Inside Man with Denzel Washington and Clive Owen. Very good in that. And I've, I'm pretty sure he would be no different, like, acting-wise in this also. It just, you know, it's Venom. I'm not really invested in that universe, but we'll see what happens. Uh, wrestling news. Kind of. You know I me, mean? Not big into WWE. Vince McMahon left, then he came back, and uh, as soon as I was about to dip my toe inside that world, he, Vince McMahon came back. So, I'm out. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but Seth Rollins has been cast in Captain America New World Order. We don't know who's going to be. Uh, some people are saying that he's going to be a part of the Serpent Society. But I'm not, not entirely sure. And the Serpent Society is an order of serpents who reside in the Marvel Universe who are trying to take over. So, like, all the stuff you heard about before with uh, the COVID and becoming snake people, they are. The Serpent Society are the snake people, pretty much. So, we'll see how that goes. I mean, having a wrestler, a new wrestler, pop in into, like, the world of movie is always interesting. Actually, I, I think New World is a... No, it's a movie. I thought it was a show before, but it's actually a film. So, we'll see how that goes, as always. And, uh... I think that's, that's all I got. Yeah, I think that's all I got for the news of this week. Now, uh, shows I've been watching is Class of 09. Uh, we did find out that Futurama is coming back. I'm very excited for Futurama to come back. Comes back June, I think it's June 21st. It's when Futurama returns. Huh. <laughs> I gotta look it up. Because <laughs> I have no idea when it comes back. Like, not a clue. I know it's in June. I know June's going to be, like, the month that everyone's talking about. Like, when it comes to, like, the things to watch, things to do, June is that time. That I that I do know. When Futurama is exactly coming back, though, and I'm not exactly sure of an exact date. I uh, got some more news that just dropped as I'm talking with you guys. And also, as always, I get most of my news from the Nerdy Basement. Uh, Emma Stone has been reportedly approached for the role of Sue Storm in the Fast Fantasy 4, but no negotiations. Uh... Tati Gabrielle in Final Talks to play Jade in Mortal Kombat 2. Interesting. Uh, the Moana star, Aloe Cavalho, confirms that she will not be in a live action remake, but will executive produce it instead. Mortal Kombat 1 has talked about cameo characters like Omni Man, Homelander, and Peacemaker being inside of it. And the Powerpuff Girl live action series officially scrapped. At the CW, along with the spinoff, Justice U. Wow. I mean, that, that second one sounds like a sounds like a big win. <laughs> sounds like like we got a we got a pretty pretty easy with that one. That sounds awful. Just Justice U. And like I say that only because like Justice U is spelled J U T I C E. Like that just that sounds like a recipe for disaster all over the place. So I'm glad we we missed that one by a long mile. Uh, the Mortal Kombat 1 um, cameo character sounds awesome. 
Homelander, Peacemaker, Omni Man, like having them in a Mortal Kombat game, that sounds pretty cool. Like, you can say whatever you want to say. That sounds awesome. And this is the time where I'm going to let you all take in a little, little breath and get ready for things to check out. So, Tashi J, take it away. <laughs> Hey guys, Tasha J here with what you should be checking out. So, I don't know how many of you know this, but I am a huge fan of mermaids. Like, my favorite mythical creature is technically the siren, which mermaids are more based off of, but the whole mermaid legend also really intrigues me on top of that. So, there's this story on Kickstarter called The Lovers, okay? It's an animated thriller about a romantic tension between a seafood chef and a siren, set in a dark fantasy Philippines, and it is super queer. So if you're into mermaids and you want to see more queer love stories, definitely check this one out. And did I mention that one of the main characters is Filipino? One of the main characters is Filipino. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is out, and already it's received nothing but praise. So if you're a Zelda fan, definitely make sure you pick up this amazing and beautiful sequel to Breath of the Wild. Humanity is a unique puzzle solving and action game that puts the fate of all of mankind into your hands. Well, actually it puts the fate of all mankind into your paws because apparently you play as a dog. You are a Shiba Inu charged with the commanding the massive marching crowds to jump, turn, push, float, shoot, and climb their way to salvation. There are 90 plus stages filled with obstacles, enemies, puzzles, unlockable skills, wild boss fights, and a narrative campaign. Or you could choose to just browse through some of the user-made levels or make your own. And we already know what I said about making your own levels in games. I love that stuff. And... Playing as a dog has me interested, and I wonder if it'll be anything like Stray interactively. Obviously, this is more of a puzzle game than Stray was. That was definitely more narrative, but who knows? So I'm interested. Hopefully you're interested, and let's check that one out together. The new live-action Little Mermaid movie is right around the corner. May 26th, Halle Bailey will come to our screens as the beautifully voiced Ariel. And I'm personally very excited. I'm not usually a fan of live action Disney remakes. Like most of them haven't been very good in my opinion. And to be honest, I was slightly hesitant for this one at first just because of that alone, but off principle and a kind of out of spite, I definitely plan on seeing this. So we should all just go and enjoy this movie. I don't know if you guys know about this movie that came out last month called Chevalier. It's based on a true story of the illegitimate son of an African and a French plantation owner. This person rises up to improbable heights in French society as a celebrated violinist, composer, and fencer. Complete with an ill-fated love affair and a falling out with Marie Antoinette and her court. And based on a true story. Well, that's all I have for this week's What You Should Check Out. Hopefully you'll give some of these a play, a watch, whatever it is. And I guess we will see you guys on the next one. So now back to the podcast. And that was things to check out with Tachi J. Thank you so much, Tachi, for giving us that that insight of all those brand new shows and movies to watch this week. That's it for the show. Like I said before, there's no comic book of the week. I apologize for that. Uh, it's been a busy week. I got no sign off for this week. So until the next time, make sure you guys follow F2 Nerd Talk wherever you see F2 Nerd Talk and uh, take it easy. Hey guys, D here of FTL Nerd Talk. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, tell your friends about FTL Nerd Talk. 
Got a lot of different shows for all of you. Make sure you tune in every week for a brand new episode. Take it easy.